Hey, colorful people. I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me at Maker in Color. So here I've had this wig now for a while. And during lockdown, I noticed I had a lot of hair dye left over. So I thought, what are the chances? Let's do something creative. So here I'm just doing a little tester to see if I like it because I have a lot more color in that cupboard. <laughs> the orange wasn't popping as much as I wanted it to. So I asked my friend if she had any bleach and so happy she come through with the bleach. God bless her soul. She made this wig happen. So here I'm just going in bleaching the end so that the orange can pop. And I just left that on for about 40 minutes, washed it out and let it air dry. So now I'm going in with the Arctic Fox and Crazy Color. So the purple Arctic Fox is actually the Violet Dream. Going into the pink, virgin pink of Arctic Fox. Finishing off with the Crazy Color Orange number 60. So I have a lot of color, but not a lot of one color. So I told myself, girl, stop doing the back and make sure you get the front on fleek. Because I always do this to myself. I always perfect the back. Like everybody got to see the back. Nobody's got to see me Kat. go to the front. So this time around, I actually stopped myself from <laughs> finishing the back and going to the front and just making it look on point getting the roots all up in there and blending it right the way through so here is the front of it looking pretty cute so i just wanted to go back and then make sure it's kind of even all around so go back to the back and finish that and make sure everything is even as much as possible that I can do. Work with what you got, you know? So I'm just noticing some color bleeds, which I'm not happy with. So I ran to my kitchen and got some cling foil and <laughs> pinned that down to the headstand. And then I continued going in with the color to continue blending it together and hopefully minimize the color bleeds so here i'm starting to see some kind of sunset romantic sunset coming through with this wig and uh, this took so long but I'm so happy <laughs> with the results. So usually I would leave this kind of color on for about a day because <laughs> I get busy. But I actually left it on for maybe an hour or two while I made dinner or something. And then I washed it out and let it air dry. Then the next day, I used the Dyson curler to curl it up, put some hairspray. And now you can see me going through with a wide tooth comb just to brush it out a little bit, make it a little bit more natural. And I am so joyed with the results. I didn't think this orange would be as bright as it looks on this camera. And then here we go, this is me with the wig. Oh, I'm so happy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.